Congratulations, you have reached tech time. Hey guys, welcome to Tech Time, where I will be giving you the latest things in tech. I'll be giving tutorials, I'll be showing you how to do some of the video things I do, I'll be reviewing and comparing video stuff, and it's basically Tech Time. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how you can do a muzzle flash on Pinnacle Studio versions 12, 14, and 15. You have to have Ultimate Collection or Ultimate to do this because without Ultimate or Ultimate Collection it does not have the overlay track. So you cannot do this. So here's how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Pinnacle. And make sure you already have shot your footage of you shooting your gun. And make sure you use a fake gun. Maybe a BB gun or a toy gun. I used a toy gun because I don't have a BB gun. Or an airsoft would work too. But don't use a real gun. And make sure everybody knows you're using a fake gun when you're shooting this. So the first thing you need to do is import your shot of you shooting. Mine is right here. I'm going to drag it to the first track. Make sure you have selected overlay track. Use overlay track. Okay. The next thing you want to do is play your track and make sure it looks good. I like that. To me it looks fine. I'm going to cut it where I want it to end and cut it where I want it to start. Okay. The next thing we need to do is import our muzzle flash. You can find a muzzle flash by going online. Just search muzzle flash and you should use the second one that comes up. It will say muzzle flash side PNG. And you want to drag that to wherever you want your picture to be. I already have mine dragged. So for me, I'm going to go to pictures. Everyone should do that. And then find wherever you saved it and drag the picture of your muzzle flash under your person. But we're not going to do that yet. First, we need to find out when we need to drag the muzzle flash. So you want to expand your time frame to frame by frame. So it goes very slowly. And drag it to the right point, right before you do your recoil. Make sure your recoil isn't ridiculous looking because that would look cheesy. Don't make it too up and don't ma and make sure you have some recoil. Then drag your picture to right where you want it to be and cut it after one frame. So, so far this is what we see. It just appears right there. That's not what we want. We need to open up video effects under the picture under Studio HDRT effects, select picture in picture, and under Studio Ultimate RT effects, select Luma Keyer. Drag the Luma Center a little bit to the right, just so this appears with um, the flash. You don't want it empty. Okay, now we want that to be at our gun point. So we're going to go to picture in picture and use position to position it how we like. First, before we position it, I'm going to make the muzzle flash a little bigger. You decide by your personal choice by how close the gun is to the camera and how big the gun is. I'm going to use this size. I'm just going to select it and put it where I want it. You want it to be pretty close to the edge as possible. I'm not going to make it perfect because this is just a tutorial. But that's good. The next thing we need to do is go to your video of you shooting, cut the clip right where the picture starts, and end it right where the picture ends. And you want to select that little clip you made right here and go to video effects and add a new effect. You want to go down in Studio Ultimate RT Effects Go to lighting. We want to make the room a little brighter than it was before the muzzle flash appeared because we don't want 
it to brighten the room, obviously. Because that's what flashes do. So I think that looks good. And I'm going to exit out. The next thing we need to do is add a gunshot. Personally, I just use the gunshot that Pinnacle includes. Um, you can find that under sound and in gunshots folder. And then use gunshots. That effect. We want to drag it right here. And play it right there. You want the gunshot to fade out a little bit. So, um, it sounds like bam, and then it fades. Not just boom, and then cuts. That's not what you want. Okay, now we have officially finished our muzzle flash. We're going to play it back. Okay, I hope you like my tutorial. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And comment on what you want the next tutorial to be on. And if I can do it, I'll make it. That's it for Tech Time. See you guys later.